Hi, so this is my video of um, how to install a sport rack uh, and also SIBO pannier racks onto a CB1000R. Uh, I know that Hapco and Becker do make these products to fit other bikes as well, uh, and I'm sure it's a fairly similar process. I don't have the other bikes and I don't have the fitting kit, so I'm afraid all I can show you uh, is how it goes on my CB1000R. So currently I'm in the workshop because there's a few things that I need to fit to this, to the sport rack. And this is basically this mechanism uh, which uh, replicates what's underneath the seat cowl uh, or the pillion seat. So you just need to fix that together. Uh, the other thing is to uh, fix the actual the, the seat plates uh, onto the, the pannier rails. So I'll do all of that in here uh, very fast uh, thanks to the power of GoPros. Uh, and then once I've done that, I'll head out to the garage to the bike and actually install them on. Um, the uh, sport rack should be really quick because it's just done with the key and it should be just interchangeable. Uh, I'm hoping that I can just uh, turn the key, uh, take the seat cowl off and put this straight back on. Uh, I think for the pannier racks I know it's a little bit more involved because I have to take the pillion pegs off because uh, that's where some of the fittings are. Uh, but even still I don't think it should take too long. So short video uh, to go with the one I did earlier uh, of the uh, extra travel luggage also from Hapco and Becker. So yeah, uh, hopefully it's useful and makes some sense and uh, it's raining outside so I might as well make the most of it. Okay then, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put the sport rack together. There's instructions, it's one, one page, one step, so it should all be pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to turn it over. Uh, this is the plate that basically mimics uh, what we have uh, underneath the seat on the bike. So the first thing to do is to put through the rubber bungs because these are going to um, basically stop the, the rack from damaging the, uh, the bike. So I'll just put those in. to the rack. So these are just going to go on and the holes line up like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to fit the, the uh, uh, draft excluder strip, so I'm just going to cut that off to a few small pieces. There we go, uh, that's all done. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward really, just the seals underneath in the bracket. So then that should, in theory, just clip in uh, in place of the seat cowl on my CB1000R. 
So I'll just do the pannier racks and then I'll go out and fit it. I'm just going to assemble these um, uh, Sebo brackets. Uh, so there's a bit that goes on the bike and there's a bit that attaches to the pannier. Um, now there is an extra bit that comes with it which is this bracket which is for relocating the uh, rear indicators. Now I've got the uh, RNG tail tidy on my bike so I'm kind of hoping um, that the indicators will, will already be out of the way. Um, so I'm not going to use that for now. So if you are fitting with the standard one, you would need that. I'm just going to assemble these in here uh, and then I'll move everything over to the garage uh, and actually put them to the bike. It looks pretty straightforward. It's just two bolts that go through where the rear pillion pegs, pillion hangers hang on, and then one more that goes through. We've got all those good to go. So um, yeah, I'll just assemble these and then I'll move to the garage and finish it. So I'm just going to put a bit of uh, thread lock on each of these. So there we go, um, I've put the, the SIBO brackets onto the bit that goes to the bike. I now just need to go and fit these uh, to the bike. So uh, pillion peg uh, hangers will go underneath there with the bolts coming up through. And one more bolt goes through here. I'm hoping this back end will be clear of the indicators on the tail tidy that I have. Uh, but I guess I'll find out in a moment. So I'll head back over to the garage. So here we are back in the garage. So I'm just going to take off the pillion pegs on each side and then fit the uh, uh, the SIBO hangers and then that's pretty much it. After that I can just do a quick video showing how to put the sport rack on in place of the uh, rear cowl that I've got on there at the moment but it'll be exactly the same for the pillion seat. Um, yeah and that should be it, that should be done. Um, I did have just have a quick compare um, of the brackets against where the indicators are on my tail tidy and I think I can just about fit them in but um, fingers crossed let's see what happens. the Hepco & Becker X-Travel uh, panniers uh, the, for the SIBO bracket. 25 litres a piece on each side and then it's a 23 to 30 expandable uh, top bag. 
Yeah, they just went on really easily. Um, the fact they just locked on and off. Uh, I'm not sure I need this top strap, but I will check that with uh, Upco and Becca. It looks like it's there more to uh, give some extra support if it's just across the seat, but across the top of the rack, it's almost done as tight as it would go. Um, but yeah, no, really pleased with that. Uh, I'll give them a run out, I'll get some pictures, and no doubt I'll try packing them to see if I can fit all my stuff in. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Uh, Hepco and Becca's X Travel Luggage. Um, on a CBR 1000R, and that's a, a 2019 model.